Hello everybody, it's me, Major Graft, and if you're here, it's probably because you found yourself a towny server and you've decided to take the plunge and start your very own town. Well, if that's the case, you've come to the right place, because in this series I'm going to be showing you all you need to know to get your town off to the best possible start, and if that sounds good, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see all of the tutorials that are going to be coming up in the next few weeks. But with that said, let's get on with it. So, job number one is to find a location for your town, and I found this nice uh, little uh, plains here that we're going to start with, and we're going to need to figure out where to uh, start the town, because the first plot that you claim will be your home block, which is where uh, your town spawn is going to be. So, to do that, we have a handy little command. We're going to do uh, resident toggle constant plot border. And what that does is when we move into a plot, every few seconds, you'll see the particle effects. There you go, showing us where that plot is. Now I've got a creative on so we can see here, but there we go. I want to start on the top of this little hill here. Uh, and that's the plot that we're gonna start with. Now I found where I want to start my town, but before I do actually start the town, I want to just do a little bit of checking first. So uh, I recommend doing slash towny prices beforehand because this will show you how much it costs to start a town in this uh, particular server. It's $250 uh, and it gives you an idea of the upkeep. Uh, as well so that you know if you can afford to keep running the town which is really important some servers are very cheap to start on some are very expensive so make sure you check first once you're happy that you've got enough cash and you're standing where you want your home block to be uh, you can now start your town by doing slash town new and then a name so i'm going to call mine grafton and then it will ask you to confirm so we just do slash confirm and there we go we have now started our very own town. Now, a wee note on naming towns. If you do give your town a name uh, with a space in it, that will be replaced by townie with an underscore. Uh, just be careful when you're doing that. So while you still got your plot borders on, it might be useful to just spot where the corners are like that and just give them a little mark so that we know where we're building our spawn. Now, the place where you stand when you do the new town command is the place where your town spawn will be. So if you spawn back to your t slash t slash spawn, uh, you come to that exact spot. But what happens if you build a nice building here and you want the uh, spawn to be at a different point inside your home block? Well, this is how we do it. As a demonstration, I built this little platform here in our home block uh, and now I want our town spawn uh, to be here so that when people arrive, they uh, arrive on top of the platform, not down on the grass. So all we do is slash town or T set spawn. And there we go, successfully changed town spawn. So if we go over here now and try our uh, spawn command one more time, town spawn there we go now we arrive on top of our platform exactly where we wanted just a quick handy pro tip if you're finding it hard to spot exactly where the borders are with the uh, plot borders you can do f3 and g and it's much easier to see where the corners of plots are if they align with the chunks in, in minecraft you see there i got it slightly wrong it should have been there now that you've actually started your town, your next concern is going to be money. So in the same way that you have a balance as a player, uh, like this, uh, you also have a balance as a town. And you can check how much is in your town balance by looking at your uh, town screen by just doing slash town. And here we are. Grafton currently has zero dollars in the bank and that's a problem because when the next day comes and I have to pay my ten dollars of upkeep I won't be able to pay it and my town will fall into ruins so what we have to do is to put some money into our town balance now anyone uh, in your town can do this any resident can uh, deposit money into the town but you when you're starting your town uh, have the responsibility to make sure it survives the next few days so we do that with uh, T deposit and then however much you're going to put in so let's give it a nice 
cushion so that we don't lose anything. There we go. We've deposited a thousand into the town bank now. So when we check that now, uh, our town bank has one thousand dollars in it. So we can last for a hundred days before we disappear, uh, which is great. Also, you can see here your town uh, can charge taxes to your residents. If you are charging taxes, um, then any taxes paid by your residents go into your uh, town bank. So that's another way of making sure that your town always has enough money uh, to keep going. And on a side note, you as the mayor also have the ability to withdraw money from the town balance and you as the mayor are the only person who can do that. If you do want to do that, you can just do that with T withdraw and then say I'm short 100 to buy something on the server so I want to take 100 out of my town bank and there we go I've withdrawn 100 and now we only have 900 left in the bank we've now started our town we have sorted out our money but you still only have one plot your home block so the next thing we need to do is start expanding our town claiming new blocks so if you look in your town screen here you'll see that it says town size and it says we have one plot currently and we can claim eight in total which means we have seven more plots that we can claim just to make that easier we're going to uh, uh, toggle the uh, plot borders back on uh, so that we can see the edges of those uh, plots and i'm going to do it uh, up in the air obviously if you're in survival you may have to do this on the ground but we can see when we move into a new plot we then want to claim it so all that we do is do slash town claim and it will say processing town claim and there we go we now have another plot you can see when you go uh, over a new plot here it shows you uh, whether it's part of the town or not now, when we come out of our town, you can see that changes to wilderness. So if we're in here now, we know that this is also part of our town. But if we go past, there we go, we're out of the town again. So we're going to mark out that plot as well, just like we did with the last one. And then we're going to keep on claiming all around uh, our home block. So we want to uh, have as many blocks around our home block as we can. So we just keep going into a new plot and claim it and so on all the way around. So that's three and four five and six and this should be our last one there we go now if we look back on our town uh, board it shows us that we have eight plots and we've claimed all eight of them uh, and we can also see this by doing slash towny not town towny and then map and it shows you there we go, that's exactly what we've claimed. We've got a home block in the middle and we have seven plots around it. Now, as you want your town to grow, you're gonna need more plot claims and to get more claims for your town, you need more residents. The more residents you have, the higher this number gets and therefore the more plots that you can claim. There is one other way to gain a, a few extra claims and I'm gonna show you that now. So that other way that you can get extra plot claims is to buy bonus plots and this uh, is sometimes enabled and sometimes not so you will have to look uh, if you go to your uh, town page uh, and you are able to buy bonus plots you will see here that it will say bonus plots and then how many uh, you have claimed and how many you can claim in total and if you can then you can go over to this uh, last corner that we hadn't claimed yet uh, and all you would do is do uh, slash towny bonus buy and then the number of bonus plots that you would like to buy obviously it doesn't work on my server this test server doesn't have that but that would get you extra uh, bonus plots if you need them obviously once you've bought that bonus plot you need to come over to the plot that you want to uh, to claim and as we did with all of the other ones run the town claim command i can't do that because we don't have that extra claim now, before you start getting some residents in your town, you're going to want to decide uh, what permissions you're going to give uh, your residents. Are you going to want them to be able to build on all of the town plots, regardless of who they are? Or are you going to want them to only be able to build in a plot that they personally own? And I'm going to show you uh, both ways of doing it. So the first way we're going to look at is how we're going to set our town perms so that anyone can build in any of the town plots, except our home block which we want to keep intact 
So to do that, we're going to look at the town's default perm line. So we're going to run the slash t command uh, again. And you can see this is uh, the town's default perm line at the moment. At the moment, nobody has any of the four different perms, build, destroy, switch, or item. What we want to do is give residents the build and destroy perm. Now, you can go through every single different plot and do each one one by one, but that is really slow and there is a much quicker way of doing it. And that is to set the default and then set all the plots uh, to have the default town perms. What we're going to do first is bring up the uh, perm HUD. So plot, perm, HUD uh, will bring this uh, scoreboard up on the side so then any uh, plot that we're standing in will be shown uh, up here in the left hand side so that we can see clearly what perms are in what plots. So then let's change the uh, town's default perms. So it's really simple, you're gonna T set perm and then we want to do uh, resident build on. Now, there we go. We can see now there that residents now have the build. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, T set perm a resident and then destroy on. So now uh, the default perm line has been changed to have uh, build and destroy on for residents. So if we run the town command again, now you can see the default perm is uh, there and it's been changed. But as you can see on the scoreboard on the left hand side, uh, it's now changed in all of the plots that had the previous default. So when we go over these plots now, every single one says residents can uh, build and destroy, uh, including our home block. So this is what we need to change next. So to change this one plot, the home block, we're just going to do this time plot set perm off. Now when we don't say which perm, it just turns all of the perms off. So as you can see, uh, that has now changed. This plot has uh, nobody allowed to do anything. But when we move out into our other town plots, uh, they still have the resident build on. So that's set up now. So any resident of your town can build in any of your claimed plots that have the default uh, town uh, permission line, except in your home block, which is protecting our lovely spawn. Now on to our second way of managing a town and that is to have all of the town plots locked down so only the mayor and possibly other uh, members with town ranks can build in them. Uh, so all we're going to do is really simply just do T set perm off and that will uh, then make sure that the default perms are all switched off and then uh, what we can see when we go over any plot uh, all of those town plots are locked down now and then what you would need to do is choose plots and set them for sale so let's imagine we wanted to set uh, this plot here for sale uh, so we would do plot for sale and then however much you want to charge for that plot so you can type in for sale or fs for short in that command uh, both works uh, so now uh, when a resident comes uh, they have plots that are not for sale and plots that are for sale uh, and when they buy that plot they get permissions to build in that plot only so uh, this is a town plot this is a resident plot that can be bought and that's it. Day one of starting your very own town. Uh, you've claimed your town and you're ready to start inviting people in and allowing them to start claiming plots for themselves. Uh, so uh, in episode two, we're going to start looking at some other great things like setting taxes. Uh, we're going to have a look in depth on a few more of the permissions uh, and loads of other good stuff. So don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can uh, get all of the new uh, tutorials coming soon. And we'll see you in the next one.